What's going on YouTube? We're back with another episode on the FPS series. Uh, it's been a bit, and the last episode uh, we covered uh, shield, and the episode before that we covered health. So now we have a shield and health bar, but I've got some uh, comments coming in that refer to the same thing, the same concept, just on different series. Uh, same thing on the, RP the new revamped RPG series, and also on the FPS series. What is that, you might ask? Well, it's being able to blend animations together, so that way you can have the upper body playing one animation, and the lower part of the body playing another. Uh, prime example uh, is for this episode, uh, reloading up top and walking uh, on the bottom. Um, if you head over to the RPG series uh, and you're into that, or you just want to see another example of it, I'm going to have it to uh, where we can uh, block and still walk around, also uh, attack and still walk around. Those will be two separate episodes, but I'll display how to do that individually for those wondering. Um, anyways, let's get into it, and it's actually fairly simple, so this isn't going to be a very long episode. Uh, let's just go uh, to our player stuff, let's go to our anims, and open up Bro Dude Anims. Uh, then we're going to want to go to our anim graph and uh, go to the just the normal locomotion. So go to anim graph and then open up your locomotion. And so we've got a lot, we've got a lot in here. Um, I I will figure out how to do this for the reload uh, and do it for the reload in a later episode because it might be a little bit more complicated. But uh, let's let's cover this, uh, and I'm I'm going to try and cover this as best I can. Okay, so. What we have right now is just whenever we uh, let me let me display it. Whenever we reload, um, uh, it it we're sliding across the floor. Obviously, I mean, I'm gonna shoot lose some couple bullets, and we're just sliding across the floor, and that's not what we want. Um, obviously, we can walk normally and sprint normally and stuff, but we want to be able to reload. So, how we do that is um, is well, I'll show how to do that for a second, but what we need to do first is here we have the reload for the idle, and then we also have that reload, tra that same uh, idle reload transitioning back and forth from the run. We actually want to be able to dis, we, we, we want to uh, disconnect that because we need to have uh, a different reload uh, grab going off of the run. So I'm just going to drag a node up, and I'm uh, going to add a state. And I'm going to call it idle, actually, idle underscore reload, or sorry, not not idle, uh, running reload. And then I want to just rename this one to uh, idle reload. Okay, there we go. Um, so let's let's open this up, and actually let's make the transition back. So uh, I want to set up the transitions real quick because that's super easy. So from run to reload, we need a couple things. So I'm going to get from idle to run. I'm going to open up that transition. I'm just going to control C this, go back to my locomotion, and get the run to running reload, that transition, and paste that. Then off of this, we need to get and. And it should be the first one that's highlighted. So if you just type and and then hit enter, it's this and boolean should pop up. So connect this, and then we also need reloading. So get reloading. Obviously, these are the var variables if you, that you should have. If your variables are named something else, that's what you should type. Obviously, we're getting the warning because we don't have a transition uh, from uh, reloading to run. So what you do is... Um, we need to uh, we need to copy paste this, control C, and then we need to go from reloading to run this transition, paste that in there, and um, we need and again, but this time it's a bit different. We need to connect to this one, but um, off of the and the second and or uh, we need or not off, not that off the second and we need to get not. and then reloading. I'm going to hit control S there to save. And then so now we need to uh, get something called 
uh, layered blend per per bone uh, in this. Um, so I'm going to drag off this and just type in blend, and it should be one of the first ones. If not, uh, you can just not type anything in. Just uh, just drag off double click on blends or click the arrow and then just do layered blend per bone. Um, so obviously it'll have two, two different blend uh, or two different poses you can connect uh, to it. First is your base pose which is going to be like the, the default and the other is going to be the blend pose zero. Um, and then the blend weights uh, zero, which we'll get into in a second. But um, now this is for the circumstance uh, of uh, this is case sensitive to this mannequin and this UE4 mannequin and his skeleton. But I will try to show or, or explain to you how to do it um, uh, if your skeleton isn't the same. But it will be generally the same because most humanoid skeletons have the same kind of uh, topography or um, rigging. That's that's what I'm looking for. My bad. Topography was way off. Um, so uh, we need to um, make. We need to. Ugh, sorry. Go to this uh, little details box right here um, and expand layer setup, and then expand zero, uh, and then branch filters. We need to add one. So um, this is going to be the bone name. Uh, that we have to fill out for what separates the animation, um, and that's that's really all it is. It's saying uh, what bone is going to split uh, the animation, or what what animation is being played. I should say, because really, if you just add add a pin, it just adds the blend weights and adds another pose. So you could get really complicated with it. I I can't think of any uh, circumstances where you would need multiple poses blended. Um, I'm sure there is. I, I can't just really think of like a good one. Um, but anyways, we need that bone name. So I'm going to obviously try and explain this for, uh, for you if you don't have this skeleton. Um, but you pretty much just need, uh, if you're doing a, a reload and an anima and a, a walking animation, you want to blend them together and you don't have a reload walking, and you just want to be cheap about it, which really it's not cheap. I'm sure there's a lot of AAA games or something along the lines that do this same method because it just saves time and it just works well. Um, you, you want to get the lowest possible spine. So not the pelvis. That's uh, almost your root. Um, not the not the pelvis, but your lowest your lowest spine bone. Um, if your lowest spine bone happens to be named pelvis, but it's not actually the pelvis, I mean that's what you want. But you want the lowest spine bone that actually makes his back bend, because you can see uh, if I uh, rotate the pelvis, it just makes the, it's it acts as a root, um, which obviously we don't want. But if you want the spine it bends, it is the lowest bone that bends his back. So that is what we want. So we're going to head back over here, and uh, as reference, that was called spine underscore 001. So that's what we're going to want to call it. But that's what you want if you have different, uh, if you've renamed your bones or whatever. The lowest possible bone that bends your spine. So mine was spine underscore 01. And then we want the blend depth. Now I'm going to have to reference my other project they have open over here. So my blend depth, I have it 200. Uh, I didn't. I tried 100. I tried 200. I also tried to see where the variable maxed out at. It doesn't seem to max out at anything very reasonable to give me an idea of of what what it means or what it specifically does. But I do understand that the blend depth is like how much of each animation is being played and how obviously how well it blends. Um, so I played 200. It works pretty well. It looks it looks good. It doesn't look bad at all. Um, and then on the blend weights, uh, I on that also just did 100. Um, and so that's that's what I did there. So obviously we're gonna want to be able to reload whether we're walking backwards, forwards, uh, left or right. And because uh, previously what I had just done is like, okay, well I'll just do the 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 walk uh, forward iron sights. But if you do the direction, obviously, with the reload and all that, if you make him walk 
plus the direction, plus the reload, he, he doesn't move because you don't have a blend space connected to it like you should. So I just realized, hey, why don't we just grab the run blend space? So I'm just going to copy that. And uh, I'm, I'm just going to throw this out there now. I googled none of this. And this is all like me five minutes ago figuring this out and saying, hey, let's make a tutorial. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I mean, it, it worked well on my other project. I just really hope it works well on this project and I didn't do something wrong. So I'm just going to get my reload uh, rifle iron sights because obviously that's what we want to be able to do. Uh, is reload while still running and we're compiled I'm gonna control s and so I'm going to give us some speed so we're gonna start walking obviously we got our directionals that's cool so I'm gonna zero out the direction so now we're walking straight now I'm gonna reload perfect now I'm gonna reload while changing direction even better Okay, now uh, I'm going to go over into the game, and let's just try this out, real world application. Hmm, not, not working in game. Oh, never mind, it was, it just some, for some reason wasn't working that one time. Let's try that again and see why, why it would be doing that. So I'm walking around, right? And I'm I'm reloading. Okay. It 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 was working. I was just seeing things. Maybe it's just the way I was walking or something. Reloading just fine. Sweet. So, that's uh that's how we do that. And um Obviously, since it's just an animation, it's going to work for all your guns and stuff. If you have like a different reload animation, um, and remember, we did the we did the thing with the reloads where we have an enum, um, and you have different reload animations for different guns, and you want to blend the reloading with that gun. Guess what you do? You Control C this. You select you select your whole thing of reload animations and enums like we did that last episode. Go to your running reload. Delete this, delete this, yeah, I, I stuttered, delete that node, and then paste that, and then connect the pose, and and you're good. Now, obviously, it's just going to, uh, I mean, it's still going to work, and our, since our default pose on this is just the rifle uh, iron sights, I mean, if we change this to, uh, what, Russian, there's the, he's pumping it, there's the pump action, you can see. There's his pump action. It is a weird animation, the pump action, let's be honest. But, I mean, it works, doesn't it? I feel like it works much better in idle. Let's be honest. Oh, I didn't compile. That's my bad. Because if I reload... Yeah, I mean, it's really shaky while you're walking, but in first person, I'm sure it's fine. Why is it still? Okay, that's curious. Why am I still reloading? Oh, okay. Oh, I, I know why, because I shut I didn't shut off the reloading variable. It's it it's weird when you can manipulate when you manipulate the animation variables. Let, let me explain this real quick. It, it's not messed up. It's just when you manipulate the uh, the uh, variables uh, of the animations in the way that they wouldn't normally be manipulated in a game like ever because you didn't set them up that way, they're not gonna operate properly. But obviously, real world application in game, like if I went over here and picked this up and, you know, tried to reload and I'm, you know, still doing the pump action and I stop, you know, it's not going to keep going the reload and it's also not going to keep me walking even though I stopped reloading. So it's, it's fine. It's, it's not, it's not broken. Although the walking did stop there for a second. I would like to know why. 
Oh wait, I've got an idea. Okay, that's that's a fix. I'll upload a fix video for that because I haven't figured that out. But uh, if I reload while I'm idle, and then I move, hold on, let me do that again. If I reload while I'm idle, it plays that, and then I move. That's what happens. So actually, I do have a fix for that immediately. I'm gonna do this, and then transfer back. So I'm going from reload to reload, um, and then on the idle reload to reload, we need to get the exact same thing we did from this. So control C, and then this is idle reload to, to reload, and then we should need, oh, okay, so I'm gonna have the same thing pasted, this the same thing but uh, I need off of this I need not I need not on that so I just need to drag off not and we should be good compile control s so now that little bug should be fixed so if we're reloading while we're idle yeah, cause now, cause before, if we walked and then reloaded. Oh well, before I I can't show the before because I fixed it. But yeah, it works now. Cause before, but before if we if we walked and then reloaded, it should have kept us walking. Yeah, so that that's fixed. Okay, so now it's now it's completely functional. Yep. Okay, we're all good. Sweet. So uh, that's that's how you reload while walking, um, and stuff, and makes it makes it looks much look much better. The only thing that I don't have, uh, to be honest, is better animations. Maybe there's a thing or blend space or something to speed up animations so we could speed up like the walking, because uh, I'll have to fix our walking speed because our our walking speed needs to be slowed down or sped up I suppose and then our sprinting speed definitely needs to be sped up because it's it's whatever but I mean our sprinting is super fast and it's not like realistic so yeah that that'll be a future episode but anyways thank you so much for walking w walking <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I, I hope this did help you um, if you have any troubles or issues or concerns or like hey uh, help red flag here this isn't working what did I do wrong you know uh, just just holler in the comment section tell me and I will totally help you there and also uh, if you liked you could totally like and that would be awesome because that tells me that people appreciate my videos and the content that I put out on a uh, lately almost daily basis you know um, anyways uh, that'll be all for this episode though so thanks for liking commenting and subscribing and we'll see you in the next one.